friendlies and welcome back. I'm starting work on my Demon Hunter from World of Warcraft, so this is the beginning of a whole series. To start on the horns, I first measured about how big I wanted them to be by using a measuring tape in front of the mirror. Next, on some contractor's paper, I began to sketch out my horns. I like contractor's paper because it's big enough to make large patterns for cosplay, and it's a good value. I used my he Demon Hunter character as reference for which horn style I wanted, and I'm making the pattern a little larger because the horns will end up slightly smaller than the pattern after trimming them and sanding them. Before I start cutting the foam, I just check to make sure I like the size and shape of the horn against my head. I didn't film this, but I glued the foam together using a spray glue. It is three sheets thick. Make sure to wear protective equipment when working with any glue. This next part was arduous. After tracing the pattern onto the foam, I needed to cut the rough shape of each horn out. The snap-off blade wasn't quite reaching all the way through the foam, so I ended up using a small hand saw to cut the rough shapes out. The snap-off blade comes in handy for this next part, however. Being able to control the length of the blade gives me a lot of control for how I carve the foam. I really enjoy carving and shaping pink foam. It can just be a little time-consuming. I spent about two to three hours just on this horn, carving down the foam until I was happy with the shape of the horn. I just did the basic shapes because I will eventually cover the horns with warbla, and that is where I will start adding in some finer or more intricate detail. That will be in another video though, so stick around! The last I'll show here is just lightly sanding the foam. Carving can leave a lot of tiny ridges, but luckily pink foam is very easy to sand, and this will smooth it out nicely before the warbler goes on. The next video will go over making an attachment and covering with Warbler. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.